Unholster your blasters and ignite those lightsabers. Get ready to feel the force with the best Star Wars games you can play right now in 2022. The galaxy far, far away is about to absolutely dominate our gaming time, with new AAA games on the way from Ubisoft, Respawn and Quantic Dream, as well as more sequels, remakes and reboots than you can shake a death stick at. Sadly, it looks like a lot of these exciting new adventures are a long time away, but if you're looking for some lightsaber action you can sink your teeth into right away, then we've got you covered. Make sure you're subscribed to the Logitech G YouTube channel to hear more about those upcoming Star Wars games, but for now, here's the best Star Wars games you can play right now. Healing stem. You're full of surprises. Who would have thought that a children's toy mashup with an iconic movie franchise would lead to one of the most beloved games of all time? The original LEGO Star Wars games defined so many of our childhoods, allowing us to finally play as everyone from Ben Kenobi to Boba Fett, and everything in between. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is the first in the series, however, to finally adapt the entire saga in one game, allowing players to seamlessly hop from The Phantom Menace to The Force Awakens in just the push of a button. The Skywalker Saga is the definitive way to relive the magic of the entire Star Wars series, with each and every iconic moment comically recreated in typical LEGO fashion. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it. Jedi. Thanks to a total gameplay revamp from developer TT Games, including a new over-the-shoulder perspective, the Skywalker Saga offers a completely fresh approach to LEGO games and is a great adventure for Star Wars fans of any age. Seamless drop-in, drop-out co-op makes it perfect for your next family bonding game and the absolute megaton of collectibles to be found would keep even the most obsessive collector occupied for a few parsecs. That's not even mentioning the excessive character list. Some of these blocky guys might even leave the most hardcore Star Wars fans stumped. Your sister Leia sent me. We need your help. <laughs> what would Star Wars really be without spaceships and starfighters? Star Wars Squadrons is the ultimate space combat simulator, offering the most in-depth and comprehensive starfighter controls we've ever seen in a modern Star Wars game. Set after the events of the original trilogy, players alternate between the perspectives of Republic and Imperial pilots, engaging in multiple space battles of varying scales. From simple one-on-one -on -one dogfights in asteroid fields to massive sprawling grapples for territory over the atmosphere of a planet. What's better is you can add the magic of VR to make Star Wars Squadrons one of the most immersive ways to lose yourself in the galaxy far, far away. Being able to turn 360 degrees in your cockpit to see your astromech droid whirring away behind you is a magic that you won't ever be able to forget. Featuring an impressively diverse hangar of iconic starships, whether you want to be flying around in a U-Wing or a TIE Reaper, Star Wars Squadrons has you covered. <laughs> We know there would be an absolute riot in the comments if we didn't include this one. Knights of the Old Republic is one of the most beloved RPGs of all time, highly regarded by even the most casual of Star Wars fans. Taking place roughly 4,000 years before the events of The Phantom Menace, Knights of the Old Republic takes the bold move of starting with a completely clean slate, ditching any of the nostalgia players might have for characters or events from the films. Instead, this totally original adventure takes you across familiar planets as you encounter all new characters who will quickly earn your loyalty and sometimes even your heart. My thoughts remain hidden, including whatever my feelings are for you. I I mean, whatever I feel, I mean, whatever I think about you. Developed by Bioware, this game pretty much set the stage for the Mass Effect series, featuring branching conversations, a morality system, and companion side quests. 
Though the player can't learn any force powers or even wield a lightsaber until about halfway through the game, an incredibly engaging story and lovable characters make for an unforgettable Star Wars experience that really should not be missed. With a fully-fledged remake on the way from developer Aspire, it might be worth revisiting the original to brush up on your Old Republic knowledge. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Who needs a social life when you have MMOs? Star Wars The Old Republic takes the world of the fan-favorite Knights of the Old Republic series and adds in 100,000 players. Though it originally launched back in 2011, The Old Republic is still one of the most dominant MMOs on the market 10 years later, and continues to release massive free expansions to this day. No matter what corner of the galaxy your heart lies in, there's a gameplay style for you. With eight classes to choose from, including Jedi Knight, Bounty Hunter, Trooper, and Sith Inquisitor, each with their own unique storyline. I will bring the Republic to its knees. What makes the Old Republic unique from most other MMOs, however, is its approach to character driven storytelling. Every NPC you encounter is fully voiced, and of course, this being a Bioware game, there are multiple romance options to add a bit of spice to your galaxy hopping adventure. You had better be able to deliver that, Tremel. Leave your doubt at the door. There's no room for it in here. And no time to waste. BD1, we would literally die for you. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is the first proper story-focused Star Wars title we've had in quite some time, and boy is it one heck of an adventure. Gotham actor Cameron Monaghan stars as Jedi Padawan Cal Kestis hopping from planet to planet on a quest to complete his Jedi training, rebuild the Jedi Order, and solve the mystery of the ancient Zepho civilization. Taking inspiration from the combat stylings of the Soulsborne games, albeit a lot more approachable and forgiving, Fallen Order sees you swinging, parrying, and throwing your lightsaber around stormtroopers, droids, inquisitors, and bounty hunters. Thanks to some stellar performances from the colorful cast of characters, some hard as nails boss fights, and extraordinary set pieces that would give Nathan Drake a run for his money, Star Wars Fallen Order is one of the most thrilling solo adventures you can get in that galaxy far, far away. Want to try it out? With developer Respawn confirming a sequel is on the way, we can't wait to spend more time matching our poncho colors with our lightsaber blade, and given the nature of Cal Kestis' crucial role as one of the last surviving Jedi after Order 66, we wouldn't be surprised if we'll see that poncho making the jump to the big screen soon enough. So now what? So that's what we think are the best Star Wars games you can play right now. Did we miss your favorite? I'm sure you won't mind. It's not like Star Wars is a divisive topic, right? Let us know what we've missed out and what upcoming Star Wars games you're looking forward to the most in the comments below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe to Logitech G for more lists and features just like this one. If you already subscribed, remember to hit that notification bell so that you always know when our latest video lands.